All right, we are back with video number two using the TU team with Iron Valiant and Bug Terror Go Dango. Let's see, can we get some more wins with it? I'm gonna do my best to try to feature the Bug Terror on Go Dango. I don't want to just lose myself the game. And that map can go. Mm, it doesn't really help me here. To be honest, I think this is Final Gambit stuff. Actually, our value would be good here. Let me not just go with that. It's a good iron bundle behind. I mean, the only thing on his team that, that really bothers me is the Annihilate. But Iron Bundle, I mean, Iron Valiant has a little, so much super effective damage on his team. I think this is the time for the Bug Terror. Alright, well, let's see, can we get it? Let's see what happens. What are you tearing to? Grass, okay. What would be really cool if I would have a bug tear into that slot? That's a hard prediction to make though without knowing he's grass terror. But he might be shaking in his pants right now. It should be Shadow Ball. I, I got a feeling that it's Final Gamut, so I want to protect just in case. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> My fears were correct. I wish Bug resisted Fairy. If like Fairy resists Bug, that would be so dope. It trips me. Hold up. All right. Let me switch out. Go Bug. Go here. That would have been crazy if I went for that. But the bug terrorist just survived there. Cause I needed to get that hit off. This is Arcanine. And his own dumb there. Well, I take his Flutter Mane. Uh, saving Grass Terror for my dumb would have been great. Because he, he went for Gleam. I didn't even need the Terra there. That's a 
of damage. Just an alley here for. I want to protect her just in case she just brought it out. Just, just. If I can get his down in range of my Valiant. It would have been so cool if I saved my Terra, but I had to respect the Shadow Ball play. But he he knew I was gonna Terra, he just didn't know into what. So that's why he went for Gloom. Most likely he thought I might be Water Terra. Not, he's not unaware. He's in a really bad spot. I've never seen Order Up do that much. He's oblivious. Yeah, he knew that was for his raps. That's why I think it's always correct. Always. Well, we got to see the bug terror, so I, I promise you that I would go for it. It didn't work out in that match, but it's not meant to be like competitively viable. It's just something fun. I want to try this, you know, a different take on uh, Godango. What I did while practicing, though, like I said, um, I went for Heat Wave plus Bug Terror uh, with Chiyu next to it, and I was able to one shot. Um, a Ting Lu. So that's kind of the idea of it, just for fun. And also, like, it makes you resist the Ting Lu. But we did see the bug there, so we did get it on camera. <laughs> Rooms here. Iron hands for the left. The Torco and Chi Yu in the back or Chi Yu for the main. I have a lot of special attackers, so his Toros is not coming here. Ooh, the bug tear could work here, right? Oh no. He's gonna fake out my iron bundle, right? Oh yes, I can leave this. I'll go for the bug terror into his photograph and let's see if we can pick up a one hit KO. And then I'll bring Donzo on the back. 
We might be able to pick up a one-hit KO on his Fergograph. If he goes Fergograph Iron Hand. Oh, this is going to be so cool if I can do this. I'm Life Orb is super effective and Chi Yu's on the field. He should pick out Chi Yu always. Alright, there it is. You should always fake out to you here. Better than Dark Pulse, right? There we go for Heat Wave. Ah, he's tearing it. Is it Iron Hands? Let's see the rest. Yeah, he's gonna get tricked on that. Oh, and it's Fire Tail, so he's super resistant. Yikes. Well, we tried to go for it. I think we pick up the KO there if he doesn't uh tear. Then we double switch here. Oh, that's two games in a row I went for the bug tear. Let's see if I can still pull this game out. You know what? I think I actually should have let. I know what to do next time. I should have let Donzo plus uh, Godango and switched out in the Chiyu. Want him to read that because then he wouldn't have felt the need to tear. He tear it there because of the fear of me ghost tearing plus dark pulse. All right, now this is a huge turn. Because he wants to go into his Torco, right? Three turns left. The correct play is to protect here. And hope he doesn't, like, read the switch. And then I Earthquake, and then protect again, stall out Torco. Okay, he didn't switch out. Nice. See, the hard read there is for him to not to switch out and get the free switch in. Thunder Punch Psychic shouldn't KO me. And everything he has is weak to Earthquake right now. Yeah. So we might not have got the the strategy I wanted, but I do know going forward, like if I was to face his lead again with this team, or if any of you use this team and face it, lead Dundozo plus Godango. That way he, he won't tear because he's afraid of maybe, you know, you click an earthquake or something like that. And you don't you don't threaten him immediately with super effective damage, right? So then you switch out in, into Chiyu, let him fake out the Dondozo slot, and then go for the bug tear. Should do about what 30? Okay. Not even 30. Nice. No more trick on for you. And then we just protect on the last time of trick on. Big Donzo.
to you. You should switch out in the Toko or... Now this is another important turn because I can read him switching out, reading me protecting. Because it might be Flutterman in the back actually, but I think it's Torko, so I'm gonna protect. I think it's Torko. Yeah. <laughs> I think that means that it's definitely going to in the back. I think you try to, you know, read get this the flutter main switch in there. And if you're a trick room type Chi Yu that's like really slow, you're in trouble right now. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, no flinch. Is he sash? He is sash. Should be Torko. If it's Flutter Main, it's still a game. If Torko, it's game over. Yep, Torko. That's why I said if it was Fluttermane, I feel like it, a hard read, a good read would be switching in Fluttermane there. So you pressure with two more head out speed at the trickle man, right? Your earthquake just clears his team, like his team is a fire. Like you the rain set up, and then you have like Palafin and then Buttermane to deal with uh, to deal with Iron Hands, and if you tear into grass or anything or, or ground, then Palafin just deals with you. We don't flinch our games immediately over. Okay, GG. Well, that's two games that we got the bug tear off. I cut it off, but it didn't really make an impact. But you all see what I was going for there. But like I said, we could trick them into thinking that they're safe on turn one by leading Donzo. And, and go Dango. That does a good KO. That was counts. Let's go. All right, that was a good game. Um, I don't think I would have played that any differently besides the turn one play or the lead. Um, I, even though, you know, he still got Trick Room up, he wasn't able to get any free switch ins with Torco, and I kind of stalled him out. And he he wasn't willing to make the hard switch on the turns that I protected. That would have, like, you know, gave him some momentum. And that's the thing about, you know, those hard Trick Room teams. Well, it's not really hard Trick Room because he has Fudder Man to you. But he's playing very hard towards tricking, but he's not able to easily get his sweepers now. And then his his for his the mons on his team. Five. So Fluttermane, Volcarona, Amongus, Arcanine, Mousehold. And ten years. So Volcarona's been making a comeback lately. I've seen a lot of people using it. So he has double redirection. I wonder if he's how, like Flying Terror, Arcanine plus Choice Band Tinglu. 
he has three redo potential redirections on his team the Rage Powder, Volcarona, Moongus, and Mouse Hole. So, this is definitely maybe equivalence setup or how setup. Could lead this with Godango, but Godango keeps continues to get weakened. He switches in Volcarona or Arcanine, then or a good Terror. I'm not that much with the lane. It's good into not really good into any of his moves, honestly. So I like I like these two. Let's we'll see how many knockouts we can you know get. We can get rid of the mouse hole too if we can encore. My Dondozo. I don't really see a good Dondozo answer on his team besides like just strong uh, special damage from Fluttermane and Encore from Mousehold. Or maybe clear smog on Amongus. So we can if we can clear it early. I think we might be in a good spot. I honestly think we water terror here. He's gonna protect and go for Earthquake. So I can Encore that into Protect next turn. He's definitely gonna protect here, so let's just freeze dry. And I don't want to go for that turn one because if he doesn't protect, then I can lose. A population bomb will make me. Now he's always gonna protect it, right? I'm gonna go for it. I think you always protect it with mouse hold. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. We make hard reads over here, and a lot of the times I be you know hard reading teams. And they just go for the standard. Yep. But he is attacking with mouse hold. Yep. Ah. I'm making survive. He got to be going for something. Like that. So we did about 50. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of, but I am very bulky, uh, Chi Yu. So that's why I was able to eat that like that. But well, we are going to get a heat wave off before we tap. That's a very bulky mouse. That's a very bulky mouse. But we did drop his speed. So he's in with, within range of Dongs right now. This could be a double KO right here. The only thing is that I know he has a Moongus in the back, so it's probably a Moongus Flutter Man. But I gotta go for the potential double KO here. Or our mouse hold is slow. Yeah, 
Okay, that this, this should be among us coming in. Right? Yeah. So there's the clear smog answer. But I, I wanted to go for this just so we can't get ruination. And I can't protect her because he's just going to encore me, right? That would have KO. That would have been game over. Oh, he's not going for clear smog. Maybe he doesn't have it. Right, it's doing six damage. So 6 times 10 is 60, so it's about 60 damage each time. Is it Pollen Puff here? Yeah. Alright, but we're plus 3. So now I just keep clicking Earthquake, right? I mean, my Donzo is still scary for him. Alright, so Mungus gets some help. If I wake up here, whatever's coming in is taking an earthquake. The Flutter Man. Oh, Volcarona. He didn't even look at him. Come on, Don, go wake up for me. This grass terror broke around, I'm in trouble. I needed to wake up there. I don't think I can protect her just because of the encore. He's not going for a terror. When I use mouse hold with wide lens, <laughs> I never get all 10. He's getting mad crit. Like. Oh, he wakes up here, Donzo. We need this, this big damage here. Yeah, that's not really the game. Yeah, I don't think Tassigiri can end up in this position. Oh, we played the best we could. Um, the best thing we could have done was uh, avoid the sleep turns. Turn one, I should have went for icy when he waved and got rid of the mouse hole. Two of those would have uh, KO'd mouse hole and I wouldn't have to deal with it. But I over, you know, the hard reads, they, they do hurt me sometimes. But when I'm playing like higher rank opponents, I try to like. Because I like his best option was to conserve his mouse hole and not just lose it immediately.
Right. So if he leaves, if he leaves Iron Bundle plus Rodman, I'm going for Icy Rain plus Bug Terror and make it rain. What's the terror to put on? Zemo. Water. Oh, so I think we just take this flutter man here, right? Oh, he wants my thunder. So we didn't outspeed the bundle at plus one. But now Zumo can be hit by Terra Blast. I think I just keep clicking order up and get my attack boosted up. We know it has Encore. So that might be a team building error. Um, I could have swore that I was timid uh, max speed. I guess I'm modest max speed. So if Fluttermane's max speed, Focus Sash, I won't outspeed it. But if it was any other set, like the uh, modest set or the choice specs, anything that's not timid, I outspeed it. Still with minus. I'm gonna switch it. It's a hefty amount. Oh, he, he didn't even go after the dead dang guy's that. I never want to protect her. to get to attack that. <laughs> so we want to order up this slot in case he switches in a Dragonite if it's in the back. I'm not really worried about his almost damage I put. Water ups are still KO this regardless. Yep. So something's taking that. Gen pile. Okay, so now we earthquake next turn.
Why does he have haze? There's just arm bundle. So we can tear the touch of gear in the back. I've seen arm bundle on almost every team I've fought today. Take that one. All right, it has been a pleasure playing for you all. Um, we didn't get to use the bug terror in the way that I wanted to use it, but I did promise you all that I would go for the bug terror as much as I could, and so we did get it in in a couple of matches. Um, and we did also, you know, win those matches, but it didn't really impact the game as much as I would have liked. But if you do want to try out this team, if you have any clips that you can send to me, you can uh, join my Discord. Um, just leave a comment on the video if you want to join Discord, and I will send you a link to it so that you can join. And you can send me any footage or anything like that if you end up using the Bug Terror, and you're able to get off any strategies with it. But we're going to wrap it up right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.